Hi, my name is Adam Allard with Allard Research and Development, and today we're going to show you our new 2011 model laboratory ethanol system. The system is, as you can see, all stainless steel. We use a professional quality PLC system with a touchscreen controller. We're going to zoom in in a second and show more of that. We have a four inch stainless steel distillation column in this unit. These tanks, this tank is the beer tank, the beer well staging tank. The smaller tank over here is the ethanol collection tank. Below the beer tank is the boiler. On the rear of the unit we have a radiator with a fan. Back towards the front of the system, this front tank is a tank for cooling. Uh, this is a glycol water mixture for the cooling of the column and the condenser. And then behind this tank are a couple of pumps. One pump operates the cooling system. The other pump is for beer recirculation. And the last tank is a beer recirculation tank. As you can see on most of these tanks, we all have uh, low-level drain points so the tanks can be drained completely. On the side of the beer well, there's a level gauge, shows the volume of the tank. Okay, on this side of the system, the distillation column comes over the top to the condenser. This side of the distillation apparatus is what actually turns the ethanol vapors back into a liquid, and those go down into the storage tank. In order to control the system, we have some valves on this side, and this top blue valve is an automated valve that the computer controls, and that's how we control the temperature of the column. And finally, this little box on the side is how we turn the system power on and off. So now we're going to go around to the front of the system, take a look at the touch screen, show you how that operates, and then we'll go closer into some of the subsystems of the valves and how they operate. On the touch screen, a few things to note. We can display the temperature in either Fahrenheit or you can touch this to go to Celsius. The large green button on the right that says start, that's how you turn the system on and off. As you touch that, it will then turn to a red button that says stop and vice versa. Below that are some indicators that tell you, as when you're operating the system, it will tell you when the beer is being fed from the beer tank into the boiler. That's a continual process that goes on and off throughout the operation of the system. Below that is a heat indicator. That tells you when the heating elements are on inside the boiler. And then on the left, there's some more display that shows uh, if the boiler level is full or if it's being refilled. It also shows the boiler temperature. And this valve position number is the actual valve uh, incremental number we use to set the opening and the closing of that automated control valve that we talked about just a few minutes ago. And then the last two lines just show you operational status messages and things like that. So to get started with the system, simply push this button. Two things will happen right away. The cooling pump will come on that starts circulating the cooling water through the system. Also, you'll probably hear a fan come on in the background. That's the fan that's controlling uh, the radiator temperature. Once we've started up like this, the boiler level will show currently it's low, it's beer feed is on. This will turn back off in a second when the boiler's finished filling up. Now it says full. And now the system is pretty much in automated mode. From this point, as the boiler runs and begins to produce steam, it'll heat the distillation column. Operating the system is easy and automated. The computer takes care of everything that the system needs to operate. One of the things that we can do with this system is recirculate the beer if we want to. Um, by doing that, we can actually run the beer through the distillation column. The still bottoms that come off we can actually rerun those if we want automatically. One nice thing about this new model of our lab system is that it has 
a completely self-contained closed loop cooling system. That's what that radiator and cooling system is for, um, which really makes the entire unit able to be standalone and operated just like it is now. Our previous models had to have external cooling water lines ran to it and things of that nature. This one is completely self-contained, which is a big plus. After the system has been running and collecting ethanol in this tank, then in order to get the ethanol out, this pipe is the delivery mechanism. So this valve controls the output of the ethanol. All of our valves and, and everything that terminates into piping, we always thread these so that you can attach hose fittings or other pipe and pumps if you want to automatically move this out into another area, another storage tank or things like that. Likewise, from a draining perspective, bottom of the column drain, all the tanks drain from the low points, so it's very easy to flush out and clean up after you're finished. And then as the system is operating, as we mentioned earlier, the ethanol vapors come up over the top, they come through this condenser, and then you'll be able to see the actual ethanol running through this tube into the tank. So that's pretty much it for system operation. The system is designed from the ground up to be very, very easy to use, simple to operate. Uh, the learning curve to get up to speed on one of these is, is very quick. This is what it looks like inside the PLC box. We use professional equipment all the way inside. This is the computer system, power supply. We have a built-in Wi-Fi system. This is important, the Wi-Fi and the internet connectivity, because this allows us to actually have iPhones, iPads, and Android software that you can use to monitor and remote control the system. Power supplies, circuit breakers, terminal blocks, and then across the bottom is our power distribution system. Um, fairly straightforward layout. Again, we supply these systems with schematics, so you can see how everything's wired up very easy to change out anything that we want to change out or upgrade in the future. Everything's DIN rail mounted. Even down to the wiring harnesses are done with these trays, which is a really nice, clean way to do things. One of the major upgrades we did to this 2011 laboratory unit is gone to all stainless steel construction. That includes the frame, pipes, tanks, valves, virtually everything that's in the system is stainless steel. One of the great benefits of that, of course, is that we eliminate rust and corrosion, and the system has a very, very long lifespan. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at our new 2011 model laboratory unit. Please give us a call or visit our website for more information and details, and we'll be looking forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.